welcome to my youtube channel kadam academy friends uh, till now we have studied the various methods to find out the equation of motion in case of free undamped system so these methods based on equilibrium method or the free body wire diagram method and second one is the law of conservation of energy so this video we are going to study the relics method then under after this completion of this video student able to understand and learn the different methods of finding equation of motion in case of free undamped system and learn using the relics method based on the law of conservation of energy to find equation of motion in case of free undamped system and here equation of motion in case of free undamped system means spring mass system or any simple pendulum or there is a damping is not there that system we are considering here to find out the equation of motion of that system and here different methods i already have told you this equilibrium method or free body diagram these two methods are there newton second law of motion and d alambert principle to find the equation of motion and next is the method based on this law of conservation of energy energy method and this method we are going to study in this lecture so relics method what is the relics method says is based on this method is nothing but based on the law of conservation of energy in deriving the equation of motion of the system by using this relics method the system may be undamped free and damp damp or this uh, force vibration maybe there are the free or the force vibration uh, for this uh, calculation uh, this derive the equation of motion then here what will happen the maximum according to relics relics what said the maximum kinetic energy of system is equal to maximum potential energy but what the law of conservation of energy say energy has been created nor destroyed it can be converted from one form to another form here the same is the relics uh, with a different view you have you are to uh, explain the maximum kinetic energy of the system is always equal to maximum potential energy so this statement you are not going to clear by re reading this statement but i will show you one diagram that will clear you this idea my this uh, pendulum simple pendulum example is there this is the simple pendulum at the the not deflected position when we deflect our disturbance is given to this pendulum on this side or on this side what will happen it will move when we give the disturbance move with angular displacement is theta from this position to this position angular theta is given to you when we uh, this uh, it will start moving from this position to this position and come again to the this position here that diagram will be clear to you here potential energy is maximum at the place 5 1 2 3 4 5 these are the places where it will go when it will swing okay this bob when we left this bob it will get swing like this okay so and here at the place 1 the p is maximum why this p is maximum at place 1 and 5 the maximum energy potential energy occurs when the system has maximum displacement means this is the static position and eh? when it is not moving and when the maximum displacement is there here at position 1 and at position 5 okay the maximum kinetic energy occurs when the system has a maximum velocity here at place 3 the system is having maximum velocity what will happen it will go maximum displacement it will have the maximum potential energy again it will come like this it will moving continuously So, what is the statement of the Rayleigh method? Maximum kinetic energy of system is equal to maximum potential energy. So here, P max is the maximum potential energy, or we can say the strain energy. K is the maximum kinetic energy. 
So this is the statement derived or given by this Rayleigh method, which is the equation 1.1. As discussed earlier, for the simple spring mass system, the self weight can be ignored as the static deflection accounts for it. This is ignored in this case. Here is the displacement x t. This is moving with the sine wave, and this is the equation or the uh, this is the sine wave for this SHM equation. This uh, SHM motion, you can say the SHM motion with it uh, moving the sine wave, and it having some amplitude and the time period or the oscillation. So, this solution of these equations can be in the form of the solution of this uh, SHM motion and that will be the equation with this equation is small x means the displacement is equal to this capital X. Capital X is this amplitude. Here is the amplitude capital X and into sine omega t. So, this is the omega is the it's a natural frequency. So friend, this is the displacement for the SHM motion. So what will happen? The maximum displacement. In this case, maximum displacement uh, would be when the sine omega t is equal to 1. If the sine omega t is 1, so what will happen? X is this displacement max is equal to capital X, means this is equal to amplitude. So after this, uh, what will happen? It differentiating this equation x is equal to this amplitude in the sine omega t that capital X. That's where depreciating this differentiating this equation, what will happen? X becomes x dot and x this x is constant, arbitrary constant, as this is the value of amplitude. Sin omega t differentiation differentiating the sine omega t that omega where take take outside as per the rule of the differentiation omega into cos omega t so what will this equation shows is the velocity of that shm okay so from this also we can write the maximum velocity would be given cos omega t is equal to 1 so what will the equation then x max means x dot max is the velocity is equal to this capital x into omega this is the maximum velocity this is the maximum displacement so why we have to calculate we have to just equate that p and k we have to find out the p from this equation we can write this p is equal to half kx square okay this is the equation of the potential energy and when the x is max x max is equal to x Hence, the p is equal to p max. Means when the displacement is maximum, which is equal to x, okay. So p is equal to p max. p max is equal to, we can write here, half into k x max square. That means half into k into x square. Okay. So this is the equation for p. Similarly, for the kinetic energy, half into mx dot square we know this x dot max is equal to this capital x into omega okay so the equation 1.4 1.3 and 1.5 here the k max you can write like this half m x dot square max into which is equal to half mx square omega square and here what will happen then? The from equation 1.1, 1 1.4, 1 and 1.5, we can write, we know this p max is equal to k max. So we can write this to both the equation here. This p max is equal to k max. So p max is how, how much? This half into kx square. We return and k max is equal to half into mx square omega square. So it will get cancel x square x square and what will be remaining this will be nothing but the omega square is equal to k by m this omega 
we can write the omega n is equal to under dot k by n. Refer the equation of SSM, substituting the value in this equation of SSM. This x double dot is equal to plus omega square x is equal to zero. So what will happen then? The x double dot omega in replacing this omega square by omega square by k by m. So x double dot k by m x double dot plus k by m x zero. This is the equation nothing but the Rayleigh's method. Thus this equation obtained is the represent the SHM equation and this uh, by using the Rayleigh's method and it gives a similar result that that of the Newton's second law of motion. Friend, so through this also we can find out the values uh, or equation of motion for the any vibrating system. Friend, so what are the takeaways? Just write down the after watching this video and you have learned your self assessment only. If you are not subscribed my channel, Adam Academy, please subscribe and share maximum to learn other students also. Thank you very much.